Hello guys, um, I've watched um, Joker Subscribes and and what's his name again? Uh, sorry, I've got your name. Oh, Huvian or Huvian. Uh, I've seen uh, Marks and just uh, just uh, videos today. Um, about the yes, he's going to be coming back to Doctor Who. As I said, um, it is good that we see any Doctor Who classic monsters returning. Um, but then again, it isn't confirmed that they are returning. As if he does return, I think it would be a right, right big, great, right big, great big shame if he don't let the Yetis return. Um, so Steve Morfid. Um, is he leaving next year or this year or something? Um, whoever takes over it, or if he's taking over it, whatever, really needs to get that axe out because we want more classic monsters. We want the Sea Devils back. We want Omega. We want the Rani. We want what they call the Ogrons or whatever they're called, you know. The guys who fight the Daleks. We want the Deathrites. Deathrites, you know, the ones which were in the Day of the Daleks. We want them back. We want the Ice Lords back. We want to see what an Ice Girl is it or Ice Woman looks like. We want to see what these things. Ah, now you can incite us with um, some great new monsters, um, the production team got to or whatever, you know, does it. But we want classic, the classic people want classic monsters. They want new monsters at the same time, and they want classic monsters. The problem with this year is, I'm not finding about any of these monsters at the moment. I mean, Blinks put the way up me. I have to say that. And then, as soon as I saw, you know, an episode which really upset me, which was called, uh, what's it called, the Women Angel episode, the Special Star episode, that really upset me and pissed me off. That episode was a big failing to the, uh, to the Women Angels. It was really taking the piss out of the Women Angels that episode. I really felt sorry for that episode, because it let the Women Angels down. It made them have a voice. The special thing about the Women Angels is they have no voice. That's why they're so scary for. They don't need a voice. They don't l have a voice. They don't need one. They don't sound cool with a voice. They don't sound cool um, like trying to be humans. They don't sound cool like that. You have them sending people back in time. That is a cool aspect of them. You have them sending their necks, alright. That might not be sending them back in time, but that is still pretty cool. Don't change the si don't change the women angels. Why change something you don't need to change? Um but so bring that the Yeti is good. I mean the great intelligence, I'm sure the great intelligence isn't because you know we'll bring back the great intelligence for the last the, the not the last one, it's, um the doctor's name. I think that's a good idea, but I hope they're not just gonna kill the great intelligence off just like that. Um as everything I think everyone's kind of guessed now he's going to be in the final. Everyone guessed. There was even a poster up saying, because there was a picture of him and River Song together, you know, and King Sing, they're going to be, he's going to be in the you know, final of Doctor Who. So you could already guess that. You could already guess that they were, he's going to be in the final. But he's been the main monster this season. There's just, there's not usually any main monsters. I mean, last year I think there was the silence, and then the year before it was the crack. That weren't a monster. I mean, that's that's not the monster. So uh, yeah, this year we've had the Great Intelligence at least three times. Well, it's going to be about three times. Um, last year, it w well not last year. I mean, the last part of the season was about the Warm Angels, and we had them about once. So, you know, you think about it, that was the one of the great monsters, it was the Women Angels. Season 6, I don't know if it was a part or, I think it was actually a part, huh? And it was, uh, 
impossible, you know, it was bad faster and at least she had more episodes, but I'm just saying, uh, you know, they gotta be careful. Bring back new monsters, you need to keep them normal. Don't send like Silurians neither. The Silurians look absolutely gay. You need the monsters to look good. The sea devils now you can absolutely piss out the sea devils. Or you can absolutely make the sea devils look awesome. Now I think the Sea Devils look in Thor's The Deep could look alright without the Samurai gear on. Now they look fine, but the Samurai gear looks crap. My final note about the Yetis coming back uh, and other Doctor Who monsters coming back is just bring them. We want Thor 2, people want these, especially old Time Lords. They, people are on about bringing the Master back. We've had the Master, I'm afraid to say. We don't want another Master, but then again, we might want to know what. Because the Master, really, he should be dead. He should be dead about 3,000 times. But then again, he did, you know, go back in the Time War. Maybe have the Master before um, all this crap. You know, uh, he. How many regenerations is he on? 26 or something? Um, and he didn't. He didn't begin on his first regeneration. We never saw the doctor in his first regeneration. Even we did see, you know, a part of what their childhood the, like in the uh, last of the Time Lords. But we really need to see the Master when he's young. Maybe uh, he'll know who the Doctor is. Uh, we somehow they need to plan that out. They need to plan that out. Um, that's just my thoughts, and I'm sorry it's dark. I might have said that. Um, it is late here, guys. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. That's my thoughts. Goodbye for now.